This video will give you a behind the scenes look at Power Diary. Power Diary is an electronic health record system and it's perfect for therapists in private practice. It can manage your appointments, you can create invoices and accept online payments, you can safely store your client information, contacts and appointment notes and lots more great stuff. I recommend Power Diary to all of my clients and I'm a proud affiliate for them. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so we are in Power Diary now. So just so you know, this is my test account. So any names you see are just dummy names I've set up and not real clients or people. So when you first log on, this is the page that you will see and it is the calendar. Um, the grayed out areas are times where I'm not available and the white areas are times where I am available. And this can be changed and altered when you set up your practice. Um, you can change it whenever you want. If you don't like gray, you can change that color to your branding. And you can also change it so that you just have session times available rather than like seven to 11 or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take you through a few of the steps and a few of the things that Power Diary can do. It can be quite overwhelming because it is quite a big system, but um, it's very simple to use once you know how to use it. And I'm just gonna show you a few things. So first things first, uh, the first thing to show you is how to set up a client. So you would go to people and create, and then you just, client is already selected, and then you just type in the minimum, which is their first name and last name. So we're just gonna use. David Beckham, next. Okay, then it takes you to the client's profile, and you would fill in everything you know about that client. So if you've just started with a client, you might only know their name, and their mobile number and their email. Um, but if you've got their contract signed or anything like that, you'll be able to fill in all this information with their date of birth, their um, address, gender possibly. Now with all of these uh, drop downs, so this one here, they can all be changed within the settings. So you can add anything that you want on there if you maybe had a reverend or something like that. And same with gender, it has male, female or other, or you can also add any other that you might work with. So everything in here is customizable. So I'm just gonna do a test email address, and then you can change the client status. So I'm gonna put them as active, and this person is an individual. And then you just click save. And like I said, you can fill in all of that information. Classifications is if you work with insurance or you want to classify them in any way. Again, this is all customizable. So if this was an Aviva client, I could just switch this on, etc. So you can do that. And then contacts. Now, one of the good things here is that you can add yourself as a contact and then you will be able to get appointment reminders for that contact. So every time an appointment goes out, you can add yourself. So I'm just gonna do that to show you how to do it. So if you go to create new profile, and then you just put in your name, that fills in all that information. Okay. Um, and then you just turn on appointment reminders, then you will get an appointment reminder. So if you work with minors, for example, you'll be able to use this and add the parent on and you'd be able to um, get appointment reminders sent to the parent automatically. Um, also, when you have an emergency contact or next of kin, you will also be able to add those as contacts and switch that on. So you've always got that information to hand and you would just save that. So I'm just gonna cancel it. The other thing to do when setting up is to sort out the billing. So if you go to billing and billing setup, here you will be able to see who the bill will be sent to. So you can do it to self. Um, if you have a contact on there, you'll also be able to select the contact. So again, if you've got a minor and then you have their parents as contacts, you'll be able to bill automatically to the parent. And then you do the preferred service. So the service is um, we have a lot here, so you might do couples or individual, and you've got all the different prices here. So we're just going to say that this person has um, individual psychotherapy session at £140, and then you save that. Okay, so that is how you would set up a client. Very simple, um, hopefully. And um, you can add more stuff on, but we're just going to go through the basics just today. So let's say we wanted to book an appointment for David. 
So what you do is you come to your calendar and you can toggle through the weeks here. So you just select the weeks that you have. You can also change it if you've wanted to do it by day or just Monday to Friday if that's all you work or back to the week. So let's say we're gonna set up an appointment for next Monday. So you just select the time that you're gonna set it up for. So I'm just gonna do an eight o'clock one. Now here, if you wanted to do it for, let's say 8.15 or 8.10, all you would do is the start time you drop down and you can choose whatever start time you want. So we can make it 8.15. Now what you also need to do is just leave the end time free because when you add in the client, so we're gonna do David Beckham, automatically the um, service, so the price and everything of the, of the session that you're gonna, that he has, is automatically gonna be put in there. You can also select a flag. Now these can be set up as well, however you want. So you can set them up for your insurance companies you work with. If specifically you have a telephone um, or a FaceTime rather than a Zoom appointment, you could set that up too. So you know that that flag is for a specific um, area. So this person doesn't have a flag, so that's fine. And we'll just save it. And you can see here, 8.15 to 9.05, because I have 50 minute sessions, has been set up for 140 pounds. And down here, you can see that that is how much this person owes, so it's 140 pounds now. You can select the status, so we can change it to confirmed, because we know that he is coming. And then we want to send him an appointment confirmation. So the way you do that is you just click on this little bell here, which is notify now email reminder, everything is set up all before this. So you would create your um, reminder templates, you would set up your booking templates, you would set up your invoice, you would set up your invoice email, all that kind of stuff is set up before all this. So I'm just taking you through, once it's all set up and working how you want it to work, this is how it's a working system. So do you want to send an email reminder? Yes, I do. And it will tell you here that the email was sent to David Beckham. If you had any contacts on there that also had appointment reminders, it would also say sent to David Beckham, sent to yourself, sent to, you know, Mrs. Beckham if David was a minor, for example. Then what you'd come to do is you'd send the invoice. So you're going to email invoice. So you just click on there. Now this is all set up. So it's sent to go to David Beckham because we said send to self. And this is all included here. So dear David, please find attached job. Uh, invoice regarding your booking this is the invoice number when david gets his email he'll be able to click on this link here and it will take him to be able to pay online and that goes via stripe again all that will be set up for you so you will get the um, money via stripe so we want to send this to david and we're just gonna send email we've done it as confirmed and save and that would be how you set up an appointment. Now, if you needed to change that appointment time, there are various ways you can do it. You can just pick it up and drag it to anywhere you need it to be. So say he wanted to come in a bit later, you could just drag it to where you wanted to go, or you could click on the appointment, go up here, and you just click anywhere here to edit, and then you can change whatever you want. So you can change the start time, you can change the date. Um, if you had more than one therapist, you could change the therapist, but anyway, let's just stick with one therapist at the moment. So you can change the date and you can change the start and finish time. Just so you know, even though this person has a session set up automatically, if for example, you were doing a different kind of session, maybe you were doing a half session one week or you needed to do a longer intake session, for example, you can just use the drop down and change all of that and you can select whichever one you want and it would update all the information. So that would be how you would uh, change an appointment. Um, next, I want to show you, just move myself again, um, how to add notes. So let's say that we have met with David and we want to add notes to his session. So you can just go up here. If you want to ever search for anybody, you can just go in the search. So we're going to search for David Beckham. So obviously he comes up because I've seen him. I've used his uh, client file recently, but let's say we haven't just typed his name in. We've got David Beckham. And then if you go to appointments, appointments, records, and notes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new note. So you just click create new. 
and then you can select the appointment. So we're just going to select it, even though it's in the future, we're going to select this one here. And then you can select a template. Now you can just use a normal, simple template, which is just one simple box, a record of the session, and then you type whatever you want in there. Or you can use um, specific templates. So you can set them up. So if you ever use rating scales, if you want to add anything specific that you do with Crouch, you can create your own template and have that as a drop down. So I'm just going to show you, I've just set up one. So maybe we've got like an evaluation. Um, did the client complete how many? You can do yes or no. And how would the client rate themselves? You know, whatever questions you want to ask, you can just click on all of these things. They did, yeah. And, and then you can write whatever you want. For example, and then you just save and complete. Now it does say once you complete, you won't be able to make any further edits, but you can actually edit it later. And that will be what it looks like. So when you go back to the notes, you'll be able to see all the notes. You, just, you can just scroll down and go through all the notes that you have with this client. So you can keep a record of all the notes uh, and all the session if you wanted a quick reminder before you met with them. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you is the invoicing. So people will hopefully pay you via the system. But let's say one of your clients doesn't like to use online booking systems and they want to pay you via BAX or some other way that you accept um, payments. So again, if we go to David and we go to billing and invoices, here you'll be able to see all the invoices that we have for this guy and we can see here that they owe £140 and they haven't paid it yet. It's not saying it's due because in mine it's set up that it must be paid for before the appointment. So once they've had the appointment, that due will become £140. But let's say that he's paid in advance already. You can manually enter that information. So if you click on the little cog here and go to edit invoice, you can add a payment. So let's say he paid by a BAX. Again, all of these Manual payment methods you can update however you want. So you can add whatever you want on their cash, check, whatever. So let's say he did backs, he's paid today. Um, you can just add any notes you want here. Save. And then if we go back to his invoices, <coughs> you will see that that's now updated and it's paid and there's nothing due and his balance is clear. So that is the invoicing. So that's really all I uh, wanted to show you to start with. Um, there is a lot more to the system, obviously. There's a lot more that you can do if you have uh, multiple therapists working at practice, if you work um, in person and online. Um, I'll just show you uh, another quick feature here, which is in... So this is where you would set up your template. So you can create as many email templates as you want um, here. So you can set up your um, what was it, appointment confirmation, your appointment reminder, you've got an invoice email. You can also add an overdue invoice so that if you wanted to send invoices to anybody who hasn't paid, um, you'll be able to send invoices. I will actually show you how to do that as well. And you can also set up emails like holiday notifications and things like that. And then what you can do is a bulk send and you can send to every single person on your system. You can filter by whether they're active clients. Um, you can have a waiting list of clients that they're all in the system too. So there's a lot you can do with the system. I just don't want to overwhelm you by going through everything that it can do. Um, so invoices, yeah. So if you go to sales and invoices, and then what you can do here, let's say you want to know everything that's unpaid up to this date. So let's say you started with the system on the 1st of December and the end date, let's say we want to know everything that hasn't been paid up till the end of last week. Change here to unpaid invoices search. I'm going to have a lot of them because obviously I'm a test system and we don't do the invoicing. And it will give you a list of everything that's unpaid. And then what you can do, let's pick on, I'll pick on. Jackie, uh, we're gonna email it. And then you can change the template to an overdue invoice and it will change all the details here. Your invoice is now overdue, could you please kindly make the payment? So um, yeah, and then you just send the email and they'll get a copy of that to their email. 
Um, one last thing I want to say about Power Diary is that its help function is incredibly helpful. Um, if there's something you don't know how to do, um, if you just type into the help, so I just want to show you one. So like importing your data, let's just take that. And it literally takes you through a total step by step of how to do it. It has pictures usually, there'll probably be some pictures here somewhere of how to do something. Um, and it is incredibly helpful. Um, so I would always recommend checking that first before you email them because a lot of the uh, questions that you have will be answered there. So I'm just going to stop sharing now. Um, and I really hope you found that useful. If you're interested in learning more or getting started, you can book a discovery call with me. The link is in the description below or you can book via the website. Thank you.